Welcome to our tutorial about parametrized commands. Let's start by viewing an example and running my application. Let's pull a record from my database. Now let's see what happens if our end user, let's say by accident, places an apostrophe in one of the fields. When I try to update the record, I get an error message. Let's mouse over the update SQL variable to review what the problem is. I've got a double apostrophe. It's confused the server. Let's stop our application and run it again. Now let's pull the same record. We'll add the same error, the apostrophe. Now let's use code which incorporates parametrized commands. And we have no problems. We're able to update. The apostrophe was added to the first name. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's our original code. We used it in our previous tutorial. And down here is my new code that incorporates the parametrized command. Essentially, what we've done here is replace the hard-coded values with placeholders. The placeholders are then added separately and automatically encoded. You can compare these two statements in the original update block of code. We use syntax like this. Email equals, and then we retrieve the value from the text box, txt email. Here we've replaced the text box with a placeholder. This type of coding is valid for SQL providers. In other words, parametrized commands vary from provider to provider. For example, the OLE DB provider uses a question mark. And later, this parameter is identified by its position in the SQL string. Let's go back to our SQL server provider. Instead of email, I can use any string. For example, Steve. Just when the column name and placeholder match, it definitely helps to avoid extra confusion. In the next step, we supply the parameter object for each parameter. We do this by incorporating the add with value function. After this, the rest of the code works in the same manner as in our previous tutorials. Let's talk about a couple more things. Here I've shown you an example where the user by accident or unknowingly uses an apostrophe. Hackers, on the other hand, can exploit this opportunity as what's known as an SQL injection attack. A skillful hacker can do a lot of damage with an SQL injection attack, such as return additional results like orders placed by another customer, even deleting all the records in your database, or accessing system stored procedures. Because the damage can be so serious, this is something you should be very cautious about. This concludes our tutorial about parametrized commands.